fiscal responsibility legislation to take effect at the start of the new year. This story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Janelle Hamlet. Government ministers will continue their contributions to the 2016 budget on Tuesday, following presentation of the billion-dollar budget by Finance Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell on Wednesday last. Those still to make their presentations are Minister for Karikou and Piti Martinique Affairs Honorable Elvin Nimrod, Health Minister Nicholas Steele, and Works Minister Gregory Bowen. Finance Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell is expected to make his wrap-up presentation from around 7 on Tuesday evening, and this will be broadcast live on GIS. During his recent presentation of the budget, Dr. Mitchell said following the introduction of the fiscal responsibility legislation in Parliament earlier this year, it will come into force on January 1, 2016. The key objective of this FRL is to support the achievement and the maintenance of a debt-to-GDP ratio of 55%. The Ministry of Tourism, Civil Aviation and Culture boasts of high revenue collection from tourism attraction sites throughout the island. Minister for Tourism, Civil Aviation and Culture, Honorable Yulan Bain Hosford, says from January to October 2015, close to $1 million was collected from a few of its attraction sites. She was at the time making her contribution to the 2016 budget, sharing some of her ministry's accomplishments in 2015. The ministry has collected a little over half a million dollars from attraction sites. You're talking about Annadale, Granitang, the forts, etc. Bearing in mind, Mr. Speaker, the high season is from October to April of each year. Minister Hosford said the maintenance efforts were part of the partnership arrangements between the Ministry and the Grenada Tourism Authority. This, Mr. Speaker, is in keeping with our goals and objectives to ensure that Grenada attraction sites meets the international standards. And Mr. Speaker, when we go overseas, when we meet with our stakeholders overseas, these are some of the things they speak about all the time. Maintenance of your sites, refreshing your sites you know, preparing your sites for more visitors. This is the National Report. We will be back after the break. The house was shaking, shaking, then said the story here, babe. Crack, 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 and the roof had no... Hazards can occur at any time and without warning. Preparedness is key and involves people. The National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA, will conduct its 2016 district elections in Grenada from January 12th to 21st and in Cariacou and Pretty Martinique on February 23rd and 24th. Come out and vote. Elect a district disaster management team that will work together to put measures in place to strengthen your community's resilience. World leaders attending the COP21 summit in Paris are being urged to work faster and go further to limit global temperature rise below 2 degrees Celsius. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says there is a need for a universal, meaningful and robust agreement in Paris. The science has made it plainly clear. Even a 2 degrees Celsius rise will have serious consequences for food and water security economic stability, and international peace and security. Several Caribbean leaders, including Gaston Brown of Antigua and Barbuda, Perry Christie of the Bahamas, Frundel Stewart of Barbados, Dr. Keith Mitchell of Grenada, Dr. Timothy Harris of St. Kitts and Nevis, and Dr. Kenny Anthony of St. Lucia were present at today's opening. Negotiators from the 15-member Caribbean community are intent on striking a deal to keep the global temperature rise at 1.5 degrees of pre-industrial level. The inmates and participants of the Ministry of Youth's Project REACH are beneficiaries of new state-of-the-art equipment. The Basic Needs Trust Fund and the Caribbean Development Bank donated three pieces of equipment, laptop, projector and a printer to enhance the project. BNTF's representative, Lindana Glasgow, made a presentation to project officer Earl Williams. We are going to enhance your program. Um, when we last came up here, we saw you having a very 
you know, a good time, nice program, etc. But you realize that you really needed to have your equipment, right? So this morning, I am very, very happy to present to you your own projector, your own laptop, and your own printer. Project Reach seeks to empower the inmates of the prison in acquiring positive attitudes to aid in the development of their personal and intellectual skills. The inmates applauded the efforts of the ministry. Excellent program, I should say. I should be very good. Excellent program. So far, we, we highlighted on self-esteem, self-assessment, knowing our strengths, our weaknesses, how to accept and appreciate opportunities, communication skills, anger management, conflict resolution. You know, we touched on quite a few topics well and it's really interesting and, and important as well. Project Reach is a very highly sophisticated and very interested program, you know, on the behalf for the youths of today and the youths of the future, you know. I'm, I'm very thankful. It is, it, is in very, it is indeed my great honor and pleasure from God to be thankful to the people who sponsor Project Reach, which is the BNTF and, and the C, the Caribbean Developed Bank and the government of Grenada, you know, to making it possible that we could um, learn something so we could even further our, our, our skills in society. And that's the National Report. I am Janelle Hamlet.